Well, I've got a good one for you guys this time. The much anticipated JD Vance and Joe Rogan interview just came out. It's over three hours long, and in the clip I'm about to show you, Joe Rogan absolutely shreds Kamala Harris. This starts with them talking about something which is very important, the media dishonesty in how they cover Trump versus Harris. And listen to JD. He brought the receipts. Then, as you'll see at the end of this clip, Joe Rogan just goes off on Kamala Harris, and JD loses it laughing. Let's watch. Well, could you imagine if there's the same sort of scrutiny on Kamala's speeches and appearances in these media outlets as there is on Trump's? Oh, my God. Like, one of the things that we talked about was how they edited that one uh, answer that she she was asked, like, what, you know, about foreign At policy. CBS. Yeah. Yeah. They edited it completely. And I, I wasn't aware that they put an answer for a completely different question there. Well, OK, so I, I think that what happened there having done some try to understand that a little bit better is they basically just edited her answer down a lot so that she didn't sound like a total insane person because what aired i think on the smaller you know the, 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 what online. aired on the channels online that yeah. had a smaller pickup was the rambling was the rambling the word salad but what actually aired on the news programs was I mean, it still didn't sound very good, but it sounded a hell of a lot better. But let me, let me give you a very good example but of this. But it's, it's okay, really so, not the answer. So It's I, like they changed the answer. But let me see. Let me see what... Yeah, no, you're right. They changed the answer, but I just wanted to find the statistic from, from my team because I asked them this last night. So they did change the answer, and they changed it in a way to protect her. Yes. And then importantly, they refused to, to, to release the transcript, right? So my attitude would be just release the transcript. Let people see what she actually said right. so that you at least have some integrity as a journalistic outlet. But, but okay, so here, here's – you, of course, I'm sure paid attention to the kerfuffle over a comedian at the Trump rally at MSG. I think you even know this guy, right? He's a good friend K of mine, okay, yeah. Tony so, Hinchcliffe. So, so he, tells, he tells a joke about um, you know Puerto Rico – the number of mentions on CNN about this joke in the last 48 hours, this was as of last night, 143 on MSNBC, 101 on ABC, 53 on NBC, 32 and on CBS, 31. In two days, they talked about that joke effectively nonstop. You know what it means to have 31 mentions on NBC news about this particular thing? That is a crazy, that is saturation. Last night, Joe Biden called the half of America that's going to vote for Donald Trump, garbage. Do you think that the word garbage is going to appear on CNN 141 times over the next two days? No. I would bet no. Now, what's the difference? Well, one difference is that it was a comedian telling a joke, and it's the president of the United States telling what he actually thinks. Another difference is, again, it's a comedian with, at best, a tenuous connection to the Trump campaign. And on the other hand, you have the actual sitting president at a vice presidential campaign event telling the vice president or sorry t telling the entire country at an event sanctioned by the Kamala Harris campaign that half of Americans are garbage and I guarantee the media is not going to cover this in the same way I mean here let, let me I, I don't know if Jamie can bring this up but I tweeted about this last night that Politico when they have initially tried to write the story about what had been said by Joe Biden they said that Biden had called racism against Puerto Ricans garbage. Well, who disagrees with that? I think that racism against Puerto Ricans is garbage, but that's not what he said. He said right. that Trump supporters are garbage. He right. said it's on a video. So Politico tried to like retcon this. It turned out there was a video so we could actually see for ourselves what was actually said. But the amount of dishonesty in the American media really is off the charts. It is, but also with Joe Biden, I think at this point in time, he's literally that crazy guy on the porch yelling at the neighbors. <laughs> I mean, he's – no one thinks he's there, which is also one of the fascinating things when they asked her, when did you know that he was mentally impaired yeah. and why didn't you talk about it earlier? And there's this, Joe Biden has always done the amazing work that Joe Biden does. It's just like this – like, Sorry. where are you going? Yeah. You want to get the like the lights that they use for the air yeah, traffic right. controller, like, come that's this right. way. Yeah, come this way. Like, help her out. 
Do you think well, she wears an earpiece? Oh, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I the, have no idea. The earpiece idea, but, one was amazing. But man, the little she just Bluetooth thing. The ear, it, ear it, It's earrings. astonishing. She talks. The only way I can describe it is she talks in circles. Yeah. Right. It's it's like Tim Dillon says it's like she does gypsy curses <laughs> because she speaks in gypsy curses. That's <laughs> <laughs> very good. Uh, this is perfect. She's done. She's finished. She's she's done. What Joe Rogan's massive audience just saw and has seen now that Rogan has interviewed Trump and Vance is that everything that the media has told us about Donald Trump being unstable, being exhausted, or too old, or mentally unfit to be president, or J.D. Vance being weird, and these two being racist, fascist, is just totally false. None of it's true. And the reality is, as made perfectly clear by Joe Rogan here, is Kamala Harris is a disaster who the media has manipulated into a candidate for president.